So a CNC machine is a computer operated tool, a computer operated rotor. So that means the computer will tell this machine in three axes where to move on this table and where to cut. Uh, I have a hand control here which I can manually move the X. This is the X axis, Y axis, and Z axis. Now, for the machine and computer to be on the same page, the computer needs to know exactly where this machine in head exactly is at any one time on this table. So to allow that to happen, the machine needs to come to a location on the bed area that it can tell the computer, well, this is the beginning of the bed. This is, this is where I live. This is the home position. So we are going to tell the machine via the computer to go to your home position. And we can do that in a program called Mac 3. Now this is the Mac 3 program. This has been around for probably about 15 years, maybe a little more, when XP came out. But it is the best program for this hobby or even professional on the market and it's it's very well priced as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to and go into another screen okay and ask Mac 3 to tell the machine to go and find its home so this is the diagnostic screen actually I use the reference buttons here to reference my machine uh, because in the main running screen you can press ref all uh, but I like to do mine separately so I can see what's going on okay so I'm going to tell the computer to send this right ahead and reference its home position And you can see here, these are known as DROs, so these are the digital readouts. So we're in home coordinates, and these three boxes here, X, Y, and Z, are all green. That means the machine has been honed. Now that's very important, because if at any one time you're machine in a, a you know, sort of a four or five hour machine job, and the power goes out or something happens that your machine stops dead or you bust a tool you can actually get back to close to where you you, you know whatever happened happened and you don't waste all that machine in time okay so that our next job now is to tell them the computer where the start of this job is okay so in the preceding video to this, you can see where I put this job together in a CAM program called CAVCO, CAVCO Maker. So I'm going to move the, I've got quite a pointy tool in here, uh, so I'm going to take this head over now and register where the X and Y is and then tell the computer, well, this is the start of the job, or the start of the program.
Okay, so all I've got to do is, is take this close to the that cross and then we'll register it in Mark 3. And we're not interested in the actual Z at the moment, that's, that's the height of it because I'm going to change the tool and do that again. Okay. Okay, I'm happy that that is pretty well in the center there. Within a millimeter, it's fine. It's only a piece of a trunk of a tree after all. So, okay, so it's quite simple to do. You just take your cursor, come over the X, making sure that you're in. See, see that's machine coordinates. Now we're in the work offset. X, zero. Y zero. Now I'm going to change the tool and we'll do the Z. So now we have it all set up with our fresh tool in there, uh, so we're going to start the job. Three. 